I'm an intern at Universalist, North Borough. My name is Audrey, and I'm a member of the Standing Committee of as part of the Governing Board of the Parish. We'd like to welcome anyone who is new. Um, we are here, fortunate to be here today, because we you can feel the buzz in the air. We're having a wonderful celebration of music as a spiritual practice. So it's a, a very good opportunity to get to know us as a community, because we have a love of music and wonderful talent and musicians that will be sharing with us today. My opening words are from the internet, a post I found this week on the Daily Beast by Michael Daly, called Strings and Theories, How Mozart Unlocked a Galactic Secret. Sorry, it's a little bit long, but it fits. Seeking to untangle the theory of relativity, which scientists announced confirmation of this week, Albert Einstein turned to the pure simplicity of Wolfgang Amadeus. As he wrestled with his theory of relativity, Albert Einstein could not have imagined that the confirmation of his life's work had been vibrating ever closer through the fabric of space and time for more than 1.2 billion years. What Einstein had understood from the start was that he could not achieve his goal of describing the essential structure of the cosmos with just conscious thought and delineations of logic. He instead relied upon intuition and what he described as the architecture of music. He would grab his violin or plunk down at the piano when he seemed stuck. Whenever he felt that he had come to the end of the road or into a difficult situation in his work, he would take refuge in his music. His older son Hans would recount that would usually resolve all his difficulties. <laughs> Einstein declared that a great scientist had to be an artist before all else. He sought and found inspiration in the work of Mozart above all others. He did not so much envision as into it, feel a cosmos, where space and time were a vibrant whole, expanding and shrinking, animated by gravitational waves generated by the motion of matter. The most powerful waves he contemplated were those that would be generated by one star uh, orbiting another. But even those waves would not be powerful enough over great distances to be measured and thereby confirmed. He himself is said to have sometimes doubted his conjectures. Just three days before the scientists made their discovery, using the LIGOs, the gravitational wave detector, they were going to make some adjustments. They decided to maintain a vigil uninterrupted. Had they not, they would have missed by three days something that had been on the way for 1.3 billion years. The researchers spent the next four months confirming that the signal was indeed what they hoped. They deduced that two black holes had circled each other and then united, generating a more massive gravitational wave than Einstein ever imagined. On and on. The wave had rippled through the fabric of space and time, approaching ever closer as Mozart composed his music and Einstein composed his theories. When the wave finally reached Earth, it was strong enough to ever so slightly, but oh so unmistakably, alter mass and time, just as Einstein figured. And the LIGOs were able to make an audio recording that established what Mozart had already proven. The cosmos are more fully heard than seen. Sound tells you more than sight. The listener, not the beholder, is supreme. Imagine how thrilled they would have all be to learn that the confirmation of Einstein's theory, as inspired by Mozart, had arrived here as a note in Middle C. <laughs>
about to read the uh, words of Frank Fitzpatrick, who is a multi-platinum selling record producer, Grammy-nominated songwriter, an award-winning filmmaker, and creator of soundtracks for over two dozen films. He has proven himself to be a creative visionary and committed advocate for transforming the human spirit through music and film. In 2000. 13, an edition of the Huffington Post contained a piece on him by Music and Spirituality, and these are a few excerpts. Whatever meaning one chooses for spirituality, I believe there are direct correlations in the nature of music. Music is essential to human life and an integral part of our development as individuals and as a species. Like breath, Music has a rhythm, tension, and release. One might even claim that the sound of breath, or the waves of the ocean, are musical expressions of life. The beginning of the universe, according to modern science, was created by sound, the Big Bang. The ancient myth of the goddess Gose claims that she created the world by singing it into existence. Few things in life have the ability to directly shape or shift our emotional state more than music. Music is one of our most powerful gateways to connect our spiritual nature, our divine source, the unseen, as well as to the universe around us and those other divine beings that inhabit. <laughs>